they, 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 I know this is a little late because it actually happened like a couple weeks ago, but I have been meaning to get this out to you guys because I wanted to give you guys my perspective. Sorry, my phone is going off. And I wanted to really give you guys kind of the inside scoop on like what it was like, what was it about, and all that kind of stuff, and then what's happening now. So first off, let me go ahead and address my hair. Yes, I did these myself. I have a tutorial on my channel already on how I did these Senegalese twists. Um, I will link it here for you guys if you're interested in seeing how I do these it took me about six hours to do this uh, by myself last night and yeah so this time I used different hair though I used expressions hair instead of the other hair that I talk about in the video that I posted last year but yeah if you guys want more information on my twist that is not in that video go ahead and ask down below or if it's really like a lot of questions I can totally do a video for you guys as well Back to YouTube Black. So essentially YouTube hit me up like two weeks before the event asking if I wanted to attend. And at first I was like, what is this? Like, what is it about? I don't even know how I got invited to this. But all I saw in the email was that basically they were going to pay for my airfare and pay for me to stay. And I was like, oh shoot, heck yeah, I'll go to LA and go to a YouTube sponsored event for free. Um, and yeah. Totally. So I went really not knowing what it was going to be or what to expect. But when we got there, um, I had seen some of other YouTubers that I knew and I didn't even really realize the magnitude of what it was. So essentially it was a group of basically like the best of the best on YouTube as far as black creators go. And I'm not sure how they chose who got to go. Um, they did say that they watched all of our content and really specifically picked everybody that was in that room for a reason. And there were people with all levels of followers and subscribers. Like there were some people in there, like Ray was there. It's my Ray Ray was there. There. and obviously she's got like a million like she's you know super huge bomb um love her and then there were people that had like less than 100k there as well but they really paid attention to like our content and wanted to really choose people that they felt that they could invest in and so that was the biggest thing is that this whole experience was them youtube investing in us and wanting us to feel like we have some sort of ownership and loyalty to YouTube because um, you know a lot of times people think that oh YouTube only promotes like a specific type of YouTuber and all that nature but they asked I mean or they, we asked the hard questions as being black creators and honestly YouTube answered everything as best as they could and really made us feel well assured that they really don't promote anybody. All it is on, on YouTube is algorithms. So based on what you watch and what other people watch, um, that's what YouTube suggests to you. They don't necessarily promote specific YouTubers over others. And also, they don't even ask your race whenever you make a YouTube channel. So really they don't know essentially what race you are unless they physically see you and they guess or you say it. Like they don't know. So I think there's a big stigma out there that sometimes like like YouTube doesn't support black creators or whatever or m minority creators and that's not necessarily true. But at the same time, they weren't doing anything else outside of um, just letting people upload and do what they do. Um, to make sure that minority um, YouTubers get exposure as well and so that's the thing so a lot basically what they said was that a lot of the stereotypes and um, watch behavior that happens in Hollywood so like a lot of people watch specific people in Hollywood or specific people get uh, a lot of the parts in Hollywood it was transferring over um, to YouTube and it wasn't um, purposeful it just happened that way and so now they're making an active effort to make sure that they're creating ways for minority uh, youtubers to also gain um, 
you know, assistance or advice or any kind of connection to YouTube and to also be successful on this platform. And so they basically promised us three things. So the first thing that they promised us was that we would get linked up with a partner manager with YouTube, which has happened already. I've gotten connected with my partner manager who I actually spoke on the phone with her yesterday. She's awesome. Like on the phone, on our first conversation, she was already telling me ways to improve my channel and, um, you know, do things that you all would, would really appreciate and how to keep you all engaged and all that kind of stuff, as well as sending me invites to like Google Hangouts that YouTube does for specific um, creators to help them grow their channels. So they're really, that was the first thing that they were like, we're gonna give you all, each of you, somebody, a point person at YouTube. So whenever you have questions, you could ask that person. So I was like, oh wow, like that's awesome. Um, so yeah, so that was one. The second thing was that we all got access to all the YouTube spaces. And so I don't know necessarily what that entails because I know like you had to take a class or do something to get into the YouTube spaces. Uh, but basically the YouTube spaces, if you don't know what they are, they're full on studio spaces with equipment and producers and all that kind of stuff um, that YouTubers, creators can go in and use for free essentially. And so you have to like do all these things, I guess, to get access, but they gave us automatic access by being a part of YouTube Live. And then the third thing was that uh, they would do quarterly events for us to stay connected. So they're going to be sponsoring different events, um, you know, probably in LA and New York primarily, because those are where they have two offices um that for us to reconnect with each other collaborate because they talked a lot about collaboration and not just within obviously the black creator community but also outward but again kind of starting somewhere and then also feeling like we have camaraderie amongst our community and that we know that we're not by ourselves because honestly when you think about it there was probably only about a hundred or so of us there but think about how many people create on YouTube like that's like a, a pin drop that's a penny worth of how many people are out there so I'm really interested to see how they expand YouTube black and mind you um, this event really didn't even have a name before everyone got there um, YouTube black was a hashtag that the group created and then it kind of just like stuck and now everyone's calling it the YouTube black summit um, which before that point there was no name so yeah so that I thought that was really dope and then um, yeah so I know you guys a lot of you all had questions and things about the experience um, it was a lot of fun uh, we had different speakers come speak to us like Russell Simmons and Nate Parker and just a ton of just like really insightful and very intentional speakers that spoke to not just how to be a great YouTuber but how to be a conscious YouTuber and how to take our platforms and use them for positivity um, and how to use them in a way that we understand that we are role models you know there's people out there that are looking up to us and kids all the way to adults that look up to us and and we are the culture creators so um, it was really intentional because you had like um, D Ray who was the founder of the Black Lives Matter movement but then you had people like Russell Simmons who's coming from the entertainment business very unfiltered very um, no no literally no filter um, but it was awesome because it was like touching different aspects of our identities which I thought was so dope um, so yeah uh, again it was awesome and I'm so grateful that I got chosen to be a part of this group because I think it really says a lot about what I bring to the table and how much you all enjoy what I bring to the table honestly my content and so it really motivated me to do so much more so I am like I said in my life updates video I'm working on some really 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 dope stuff for you guys that I think you guys are really gonna love and I'm finishing up my masters right now I'm like on the home stretch one month so I am finishing that up which is why I haven't been uploading as much this past couple months is because I'm really finishing out my degree and so I'm trying to knock all that out before I really go in on videos for you guys so yeah Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about YouTube Black, um, let me know. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. I don't know everything, um, but I definitely will try to answer as much as I can. So, yeah. Enjoy you guys' day. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.